In this video, I want to talk about some pretty amazing research that's been done recently that will help us not only achieve our goals, follow through on the goals that we set, but also preserve our willpower. Watch this video to learn more. The British Journal of Health Psychology did a really, really interesting study recently. They took 245 participants, broke them into three groups. They told the first group to train, go to the gym over the next couple of weeks and monitor how many times they go. The second group were told the same thing, but in addition were given like a little motivational pep talk. The third group were given that talk as well, but they were also asked to write down when and where they were going to do their exercise. And the results are pretty amazing. In the first group, 38% of them exercised at least once per week. In the second group, that's the group that had the motivational pep talk, 35% of them exercised at least once per week. But in the third group, the group that were told to write down when and where they were going to exercise, 91% exercised at least once per week. What happened here? Quite simply, what I've just described is the power of implementation intentions. Specifically, implementation intentions mean that when you want to do something, you don't just have a general goal. You don't just have a goal of, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week. Instead, you write down what day, what time, and where you're going to go. So it might be on Monday morning, when I wake up, I'm gonna to go to the gym. On Wednesday morning, when I wake up, I'm gonna to go to the gym. And on Friday morning, when I wake up, I'm gonna to go to the gym. Simply by stating when and where, by stating the specifics of what you're going to do, you massively increase your chances of following through. Not only that, but it's also been shown that you reduce your willpower when you do it. And the skeptics among you are probably thinking, hold on a minute, your alarm bells are going off. You're thinking, nah, this sounds too good to be true, right? But this has been backed up by over 100 studies since. Simply, at this point, it's pretty conclusive. If you want to follow through on something, you should use implementation intentions. But implementation intentions can also be used for something else. They can also be used for resisting temptation. So instead of using specific implementation intentions of saying when and where you're going to do something, you can use an if-then version of the implementation intentions. This becomes a lot clearer with an example. Let's say you're trying to lose weight. You can create a number of if-then implementations to try and help you resist the temptations that you get on a daily basis. So for instance, it might be, if the waiter brings chips, then I'm going to decline them. If my friends want to go out and party tonight, then I'm going to go home. If there is a buffet, then I'm only going to eat salad and meat. If I feel a bit lethargic before I go to the gym, then I'm gonna get up and have a nice big glass of water. You can almost consider this like your temptation battle plan. You just think in advance of what things might persuade you to get off track and then come up with a series of actions that you can do to make sure that you don't. So why does this work so well? It seems like a very simple little trick, but why is it so effective? By creating this kind of battle plan in advance, when these situations arise or when these circumstances come or the time comes for you to do something, we don't have to go through this mental process of deciding what to do. It's kind of bypassed. The reactions become more automatic. So for example, when that cake comes out, if you haven't anticipated this in advance, you have to go through that decision-making process of should I have that cake, is it okay? Or should I not, should I decline from having that cake? And that kind of decision-making is what fatigues your willpower. That's the kind of decision-making that makes you tired. However, if you've come up with this battle plan in advance, then that is skipped altogether. It's a more automatic reaction because you know what you're going to do. It's been planned ahead of time. So how can we actually apply this to our lives? Well, firstly, figure out something that you're trying to implement in your life. So let's say you want to be a writer. The first question you have to ask yourself is when and where are you going to write specifically? What's going to trigger your writing session? Is it going to be nine o'clock every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? And where are you going to do it? Are you going to sit down at your office or are you going to work in your bedroom? Be absolutely specific about when and where you're going to do this. And then come up with a list of obstacles, a list of temptations that might get in your way of doing this. So maybe you might not feel like writing. So then you can create an if-then implementation intention. If I don't feel like writing, then I'm going to make sure I sit down and do just the title or do the first two sentences. Or if you feel tired. If I feel fatigued, then I'm going to get up and go for a 10-minute walk and then try again. Or maybe you're feeling hungry. If I feel hungry, then I'm gonna to go to the kitchen, have a milkshake, 
and sit down again. So instead of having just a generic goal such as I'm going to write more or I'm going to write five times a week, you've now got a very, very specific, almost like a battle plan. And that's been shown to not only increase your chances of following through, but also reduce your willpower in doing so. You're basically taking decisions out of the equation. Decisions are very taxing on your willpower and that's why it works so well. So in summary, be specific about the things you want to do and come up with if then objections that might throw you off and plan for them in advance. This will help you follow through on your goals and it'll also preserve your very valuable willpower. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time.